Hello everyone, Manny Kidiv here, and welcome back to another Blockfish tutorial. In today's Blockfish tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make custom item models using Optifine or CIT reseller. Hey, Editor Manny here. Uh, I just like to make a clarification. Uh, yes, I do wear glasses in real life, so that's why I'm wearing glasses in here. Uh, but I like to say that the mod I'm using in this tutorial is the uh, CIT reseller. It works with fabric, so that's why I'm using it now. I don't use Optifine anymore, but I pretty sure this can work with Optifine sale. So uh, just try it at your own risk, okay? Uh, only reason why I'm making a new updated version of this video is because Mojang has changed the code for 1.20.4. So we're gonna make it updated and I finally figured out how to make it fixed. So without further ado, let's go to the desktop. All right, now we're on the desktop. As every other Blackfish tutorial, there is a template folder that you can download. This one is called CIT Pack. 1.20.4 and included into the folder is the assets folder which i clearly have spelt wrong you have assets folder and the pack.mc meta which helps minecraft read that a texture pack is about to be loaded so the new pack format is 22 and the description will be this but you can change that later on if you'd like so without further ado to get into the video let's go right into blockbench and open that up all right we're now on blockbench and First thing we want to do, we're going to open the Java block slash item, press create new model. So here's where we're going to actually have all of our stuff, details, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So the file name, you can make, you can name it whatever. Today, uh, we're going to make, let's say just, I don't know, make a chest plushie. Uh, important factor on how to name a file is to lowercase everything. And if you want a space, use an underscore instead of a space so if you want to put a space right here please put an underscore instead so we're going to press confirm and here we are and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our model so if you'd like you can follow me and follow how i make this model or you can make your own model however you like it so i'm going to start off with making a folder or a group and renaming it to the plushy base so this is the base of the model right here we're going to add a new cube and since it's a chest we're going to make it an eight by eight and an eight by eight by eight basically a cube on um, the size of a minecraft head i believe and we're going to put it right in the center of our workspace there we go and the minecraft chest is a little bit weird um but we don't have to go into detail on how the model is going to look like so that's how we're going to set up our model so we're going to go into a quick modeling montage you can model it however you like you can slow down the video to see how i model it and you can match it however you like so without further ado let's get into our first modeling montage of nine months okay, i'm going to interrupt the modeling montage right here and right here you can see that there's something called uh I believe X, Y, Z fighting, something, something fighting, access fighting, where you can see it's like blending into each other, but they're trying to fight to see which one gets on top. But I want the lid to be a little bit bigger, but I don't want to individually increase the size like that with decimal points. So what you can do, you can and change the inflate size with dot, let's say 125, and there you go now you see it's a little bit bigger it looks nice cleaner and there we go and you know every chest lid needs the notch i guess is what we're gonna call it you know the buckle of the chest so you make the buckle right in the middle if i can line it up properly uh is that in the middle yeah okay and that, okay now i'm gonna move it down a little bit so to put it to move it like this into like half points i guess is to press shift and drag this will move it points down like quarters down and there you go now it's not all the way sticking out but it's not all the way flush into the wall like that all right now back to the model montage. You can see that I didn't put legs on this side or an arm on this side or an eye on this side. So uh, reason why is to help us make the texturing process a bit faster on how we're going to do it. But this is my model right now. And to now we're going to add textures. To add a texture on it, we're going to press Control A. 
and that will select everything all the models all the blocks all the stuff like that we're going to press this button down here the create texture button we're going to press that and we're going to call this the chest plushie now you don't have to put dot png it's already going to do that once it's exported but now you see that it's all textured and everything and here's why i didn't include legs on this side as well is because if we grab these points these these and these and we press the Control D key, it will duplicate them. And then we can press the Transform, Flip, and Flip X. And that will put them right on the side that we need them to be. And it will match the textures on this side. So we don't have to make whole new textures just for that. As you see right here, there we go, there we go, there we go. You can see it textured all that, right? So now we have a little texture. I'm gonna go de put detail in mine and I'll texture it. You go ahead and do however you like it. And you could slow down the video if you want to follow these texture patterns. But I encourage you to go on with how you would like it. So without further ado, let's go into the texturing montage. Pause the montage right here. And you can see I'm taking a while to do this texturing process. There's a faster way on how to make it so that it matches the other side. So I don't have to go on here and do all that. And a way to do it is by enabling the mirror painting and we're gonna press the arrow right here and we're gonna call it we're gonna put the axis and make sure the X is checked and we're gonna press enable and now you can see a temporary red line now if we do this it should paint around for us instead of us having to paint the whole thing by hand so it makes us go by a little faster helps us out a little bit and there you go so i'm gonna add some finishing touches i'm not even gonna make a montage i'm just gonna clip right into this so one two three all right there we go now i'm done texturing i added a little shading with the gradient tool right here you can use a gradient tool and i also like to change the opacity so it doesn't look overpowering as it's always set to 255 i believe and it looks really solid like that and i don't really like that but you can change the opacity that's what i did so it makes it a little bit more subtle and not too you know so now we can get onto the actual fun part which is the display tab so now we're on the display tab and you can see it looks a little bit out of place so you can configure it however you like make it any shape any form what i like to do is actually use the apply preset button and you can change it to whatever preset and there even there even is a preset for block so it looks like a block so i'm going to use this preset and just copy and paste it onto this other side of the model the first person right this one i actually like to do myself as i feel like a bit more natural and we'll do this make the size a bit smaller and just copy and paste it to the other side now if you're making a bow or a crossbow there's also reference models that will change the position on how things are loaded. And now for the head model, I like to get a little creative here and like make it look like it's sitting on my head or something. Uh, I remember one time I made a pickaxe and I made it look like it's mining into my head and stuff like that to make make it look make it fun. Make it don't make it too boring. Don't make it too flat. But yeah, on the head model, just get a little creative. Get creative with everything. That's why I encourage not to really fall it step by step because I feel like that's a bit more, but you can express your creativity however you like. And on this one, again, I use a block, but I increase it a bit more because I don't like how small that is. And on the frame, this is where it gets interesting. So when you want to like put it down, like on a bedside table or something in your built in your world, we're going to rotate it negative 90 degrees. Now you can see that it's hard to line it up. You can also change it over here on the rotation where it's red. That's the X axis, I believe. And then you just press negative 90 and press answer and there you go now it's like negative 90 degrees now we're going to push it up like around i think negative seven when that says negative seven right here on the blue the z axis yes you can make it bigger smaller however you like it's up to you again create get creative with this i put a little bit above so like we're going to do 1175 and make it a little bit decent size we're going to go into the gui and again, I use the block, but then I also base it off the block, so I don't use the block entirely. Now he looks like this, our little friend. I'm gonna call him Bob. But yeah, you can also change the, the, the reference model as well. Maybe this is the crafting grid, how he looks in the inventory, or how he looks like in the hot bar. But it shows you everything here on Blockbench on how to do it. So I like to go back, review, make sure everything's nicely placed. And also you can see, I forgot these were a thing. You can view on how the reference model for the item frame is. So maybe it's on the wall. This is how it's going to look 
But what if it's on the wall, but the item frames are invisible? There we go. What if you want it literally on a table? There we go. You can fix that too on a frame. You can also fix it to invisible frames. So you can push it up a little bit. And there we go. And there we have it. That's the block bench part of the tutorial. We have the texture. We have the model. So now what? Well, now we're going to save the texture and we're going to go ignore this. We're going to go back to the desktop and go to the template folder. So the CIT pack. Uh, 1.20.4 folder we're gonna go into assets and you can see that i didn't put any other folders but in the download folder that you're gonna have it's gonna have all the four folders and even the template of the model so what you're gonna do now if you want to make this whole folder by hand you can this is optional you don't have to download it uh only reason why i say download it is because it includes the dot the pack dot mc meta file which you need for minecraft to read the texture pack but if you want to make it by hand you create the folder name it whatever create the assets folder in that folder and then go into the assets folder press new folder and call this one minecraft now go into the minecraft folder and click my new folder again and call this one optifine and then go into it again and once we're in the optifine folder we're going to press the c we're going to press new folder and press cit to make a cit folder now we're going to go into that one now if you want to get a little bit more organized you can separate several models into several divisions so i'm going to get a little bit organized we're going to call this the chest slushy yeah there we go now we have the chest plushy folder right there and we're going to go into it and we're going to press the save button and now our texture is saved and now what well, we're going to press file we're going to press export export block item model and once you do that it should export it as a chest underscore plushie or whatever you named it dot json file we're going to go back to the template folder go all the way into these folders all the way to these, the same folder that the texture's in for example my texture the chest plushie.png is in the chest plushie folder so we're going to put this JSON model in the chest plushie folder and press save. Here's what I like to do just to be on the safe side, just in case you work really hard on this model. We're going to press the save project as and press and do this chest plushie.bb model, which is the block bench model. Now I'm going to save this onto the folder so you can also access it, edit it however you like. So I'm going to save it and now save onto the template folder. We can close out a block bench now. Now we're not done. We're gonna open the folder, so now we have the folder open. We're gonna go into assets, Minecraft, Optifine, CIT, and the folder that we made. We're gonna, you see that it has these models already here. Yeah. So it looks very organized and everything, but we're not done still. We're gonna press the new button. We're gonna press the X document, and we're gonna call this chest underscore plushy, and we're gonna change the .txt file with .properties file. Now change the file extension, yes. And how do we open this? Well, if it prompts you to open it with, I recommend putting the notepad or whatever you use to open your notes and just press just once, or you can do always, however you like it. And now it's empty. Here's the other reason why I recommend downloading the example pack. This is another model that I already made. Now you're gonna need this. You can type it out all by hand if you'd like. There we go. I have it separate on the other screen and you can follow this how I am. Uh, we're gonna press the word type items. And this will be the items that we can rename to get the models. So with the chest plushie, uh, I'm going to make it so that the chest space, the carved underscore pumpkin. And you know what? Let's do the totem of a dime. And we're going to press enter again to get onto our third line. We're going to call this mbt.display.name with a capital N equals I pattern and then colon and then you can name it whatever you want. This is what the this is what you type into the anvil. Now you can see that I put capitals in this and you can see I put a space. Now, if you want to make it so that you can make it any capitalization, you can put these um, little stars. I forgot what they're called. Um, they're usually on the eight key. You press shift eight, eight, and then you could go back once and you just press this chest plushie. And now you can capitalize any letter and it will still give you the output of the model. So yeah, interesting. Now we're going to go into our fourth line and our last line. I call this one model equals and then the model name that we have so this one is the chest plushie dot json and there we go we press the save button and we just press save I ignore all of this i guess um now if we go back into it you can see all the work that we did oops it opened it into another window there we go we did this there we go that's how we want it so remember the name of this chest plushie now you don't include the stars with this. I'm gonna press the X again, and we're gonna 
close out of the folder that we made. So this is our template folder right here. We're going to go into Minecraft and we're going to go into options, resource packs, open pack folder. And you can see I have a bunch of useless texture packs on here. And we're going to drag this one onto the right edge where it, so you see the tooltip that says move to resource pack. We're going to let go and we'll drop it in there. And now you can see it's at the bottom of our folder, but if you press it again, it's going to move somewhere. It usually does. But we're going to go back into Minecraft. We're going to look for the folder and here it is. CIT pack.1.20.4 practice CIT pack. We're going to press this arrow button and it'll move it right into the selected folder. We're going to press done. Now Mojang studios will come up and we're going to let that happen. There we go. Done loading. Now we're into our testing world. Now we started in the intro. We're going to walk all the way over here. And now you see that we have our little modeling workspace, which is the anvil, crafting table, and chest. Now, remember the stuff that we used? It was the chest, totem of a dying, and carved pumpkin. So I'm gonna get those items, carved pumpkin, chest, and totem of a dying. Now we're gonna put these into the anvil, carved pumpkin in here first, and we're gonna call this chest plushie. And there we go, there's our little friend. And again, remember, the stars, don't have to be included. You can see I did not type in the stars. The stars only make it so that they can be any capitalization in any part of the world. So I can make this all caps right here and it'll still give me the model. This one, I can make it all lowercase. And in this one, I'll make it, you know what, all cap. Um, chest, no, no, no. I'll make it chest. Lushy. There you go. Now we have the total of a dying the chest item but when you place it down it doesn't it's not going to give you the place because it's you know just a block we didn't change the block model and this is our carved pumpkin now you can see the overlay is on it but when you see it you, there's our little friend on our head and if we even go into survival mode teleport us oops still got caps lock on teleport us around let's say like 90 blocks no let's not go that high 30 blocks let's say that there we go now he's been our totem of a dying get this off my head and there we go and put him in our invisible item frame and there you go there's a little friend bob yeah that's his name bob all right and that's pretty much it that's how you make a custom item model in block bench using optifine or cit resown i will include the mod that i use which was cit resown due to that i use fabric so i use cit resown to accomplish this if you have any more questions uh, feel free to ask in the comments if you have any troubles. Again, I have a Discord page where you can ask questions in the Blockbench support section. Yes, I have a whole Blockbench support section. And if you need any further help, I recommend joining the Blockbench uh, Discord server as it can help you there too. Now, I know I've made other Blockbench tutorials. Now, those are for 1.2, um, I believe 19.4 and lower, while this one is going to be for 1.2. 20.4 and higher due to that mojang changed the code for like certain things so of course i will be making an update to the cm texture pack that makes you give entity models and i have been working on it and i've leaked a little bit of images on my discord server announcements page but again if you have any questions suggestions on the next block tutorial or video in general please let me know also i will be making an official comeback video to announce that i am back making youtube videos again uh coming up soon and if you have any questions, I will be, ha be holding a Q&A segment in this video. All you have to do is comment a question and just let me know. If you want to make a question but don't want to make leave a comment on a YouTube video, you can join the Discord and leave a question on the Discord page. Thank you for much so watching, and I'm glad to make Blockbush tutorials after nine months. Thanks for watching, and take care.